All right, so today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the automatic measuring elements. Um, we haven't used this. As you, I've been skipping through it from the last ones. So here I have already done a plain line line alignment on this part. This bottom corner is my zero, which is what it calls for all the on the blueprint. That's where everything is referenced from. So let's just go into circle and called it back. I want to measure that back left hole back there. So I don't, I've cut my tolerance off because we went over that last time. This time I want to measure automatic. And I have always skipped through this. Um, I'll show you kind of the pros, well, the, the pros and cons on using it. So it pops up this box. So what will happen when I set everything up, the parameters, uh, it will actually automatically measure that hole. So do I want an inner hole, an outer hole, like if you're measuring a, ball, a boss? Watch this graphic. This is everything to you. I want an inner hole. I want four hits. I want my rough diameter. My diameter off of the blueprint says it's supposed to be 312. Do I want... Uh, like if I rotate my head to the left and go into a hole on the side, rotate my head to the back to go in, I'm doing X, Y. I put in my coordinates, which is 0.650 off of the blueprint, 1.850, and I want to be down in the hole 200 thousandths. Here you can change your start angle, your end angle. You, if you watch this, you see how it changes? So you, you kind of monkey with all this to get it to go where you want to. When I get done, if I hit OK, it's going to take off moving, even though it is not in CNC mode. This is automatic circle measurement, so it's going to move automatically. If one thing you got to remember, I told it I want to go into the hole 200 thousandths before I measure it. You need to be sitting somewhere over here somewhere over top of your hole. Keep in mind, this is not CNC mode. We're not even dealing with go two points. However, you can write this into your CMM program, your CNC own program. So watch what happens when I do this. Drops down 200. I never touched anything. It's an automatic measurement. All right, so Suppose I want to do a line and I want to cut automatic measurement on. I want to call it the right line. I want two hits. Automatic is on. Hit OK. Pops up. All right, the graphics is not right. It's going to hit the first one here, second one, that one. But I want the right line. I want the one over here. So number of points length 1.4 let's just say i want to go 1.8 how how far how far apart are my hits again we can do up to that way but i want x y the blueprint on my x says it is uh, let me look 3.5 the y would be zero i don't want to hit on this corner i want to hit up so i'm going to do 0.2 in my y z minus i don't know why i defaulted to that but that looks good because i want to hit on this surface and it's 300 thousandths from here to here but I, so let's 520 is good however my lines are going the wrong way so i gotta keep monkeying around with this angle let's put in It'll save some of your last ones. 90. Hey, that looks good. I know it says three, but I'm only going to take two. So let's hit here and here. I, I lucked up on that one. However, let's just say I want to do the other side. You, can, you just got to keep monkeying around with it until it looks like what you want. And before I hit OK again, 
you got to think in terms that if you're writing a CNC own program, you need to sit somewhere over here because if not, you're going to drive through your part. Hit OK. <whistles> Measure that line automatically. Let's do a plane. Automatic, let's cut the automatic own. We want four hits. Now this looks pretty simple. We're gonna do four hits. However, in the past I have been hitting on my extents with the automatic plane you, that gives you a diameter. So you've gotta pick a diameter where you want it at. So let's go, let's just say I want my plane. We gotta think about where our hits will be. So if we choose this point and we choose zero and we choose an inch and a half, let's just go with the inch diameter. Start angles, end angle, you can change all this. Probing to positive, which goes from bottom up, probing from that way. We can choose, uh, why didn't it change? Anyway, this is using our coordinate system. On this one, let's just say I don't even know what that coordinate is I'm sitting at. I don't, I don't know. But I can click this position of the machine, it'll save where it's sitting, and it'll probe right there. We can do it clockwise, counterclockwise, circular. Anyway, let's hit go and see what happens. I expect my head over here is not going to, yeah, that's not going to work. So it's going to alarm out because now I'm going to have a skewed plane and I know that's not going to be right. So it's going to be really skewed. So I'm like, okay, well, that didn't work. So I could delete that command, do another one, and this time change our downward. Let's just do half inch. And let's try it again. It should save, I'm not sure if it's gonna save the same where it was, so let's go back somewhere-ish and hit use the machine coordinates where it's sitting. Yeah. I don't like using the plane automatic because I like hitting the extents of my plane. But anyway, that's anyway. just a quick little lesson on using the automatic. I can tell you, I don't use it. Um, I just, the only benefit you really get out of it is it's hitting it consistently with the, with the machine speeds and feeds. Um, well not speeds and feeds, but feeds. I, I'm not really, I, I would just rather drive it myself like the previous videos, but it does have this capability um, I've talked to programmers that use it religiously. I don't use it at all. Um, it's, it gets into a preference. Um, I really can't tell you a lot more benefits, pros and cons with it. To me, it's a lot of monkeying around setting all these parameters. Um, like, it's just a lot of monkeying around to when I could just rather drive it in with my hands and save it like that. So. Anyway, that's just a quick little tutorial on the, the auto measurement routines that are built, built into the, the features. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned a little bit.